Hi, it's Grant here, welcome back to the channel and a big hello to my new subscribers. Today is the first video which I kick off in a series of videos around the Etsy tool services and platforms that I use. I get lots of comments on my Twitter uh, and YouTube videos saying, how do you get this information? Yes, a lot of it is self-taught, a lot of it's trial and error, but a lot of it you have to sort of look back at analytical data, statistics, trends, etc. You can't be taught that, that's just what's going on in the general marketplace. So I look at certain tools to help me. What that does for me is it gives me more sales, more conversions or higher conversions, more views, and obviously it cuts down the amount of time that I need to work on my store because it helps with SEO, you know, the search result listings, search optimization, and everything else in between. So today I'm going to be looking at Seller Way, which you may or may not have heard of. I've only come across this recently in the last four or five weeks, but I've really found it's given my sales a huge boost. Put it this way, my sales have gone up 11% in the last month because I'm using a lot of the data, analysis, and trends from Sellaway. So that's enough overview of our Sellaway. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to dive into the laptop and I'm going to show you through Sellaway itself, the dashboard, and how I've been using it. So here we go, let's talk about Sellaway. Now it's a completely free to sign up and they offer you a three day plus, uh, you know, plus, which is like their premium offering. So it's completely free to sign up. I think it needs your Etsy store name, first name, surname, email address. I think that's about it. You get your three day plus um, and then it's only $11.99. As I said, my sales have increased. My average sale, my average basket is around £3.49. Uh, if you add on the American uh, delivery, it's about $5.50. If you take off the fees and all that, I think I've got to make three extra sales a month and this pays for itself. I, I've done that within a week. So it's, it's a great product. And what I'll do is as I dive in, I'll tell you what's plus and what's not, but you'll see by the screenshot. So let's go straight in. So I've already registered, here's the screen. And the first thing you've got is trends. Trends are really good. It lets you know what's going on in the marketplace, what's good, what's not, what's really selling in and, and what isn't. If you just hit trends under the free subscription, you get access to this data. So what's currently trending and it gives you information about the product, the country of the store and some of the tags. It's good data, but it's not useful data. If we go into Trends Plus, so this is if you pay your $11.99, you can then put in a certain keyword. Now, I always suggest a keyword or key phrase that's two or three. Don't just put in something like clothing or jewelry, um, paper or card. Um, you know, make sure it's two or three words because that will then hone down and really uh, focus on the detail that you need. So let's try greeting cards and hit search. Bear with it, it's obviously going off around the, around the ether, it's looking at its own data and it's pulling that information back. So it will take a bit of, a bit of time to get that data back to you, but that's understandable because there's hundreds of thousands of stores and millions of, people, millions of data points. So now I've got more, I've got these trends here. So this is now specific to what I'm looking for. So it's, it's much more focused than just general trends. So here I can see the shop name, the country, the product image, the description, or the, the title, should I say, apologies, the category, whether it's digital, the price, the number of likes, and also the tag. So that's really good research information. So if you're looking to either start a store, or you've got a store you're looking to, to launch a new product, get this sell away, come on here, type your two, three, four word key phrase, and then start to understand more about the product that you're gonna be selling. What's your price point? How many people have got likes behind it? What are their uh, titles? What countries are they looking at? So it's all good information, good data. Then you can hop into keywords. Keywords are one of the most important things when we look at optimizing our Etsy listing. And I've done many videos on SEO. I'll, I'll link one up here so you can have a look at that. Uh, but keywords, you don't have a space for keywords in your Etsy listing. What it is, it's about introducing those keywords into your title and description. But clearly, you just don't go gung-ho and just go, right, I'm selling greeting cards, or just that the word greeting cards. You need to know, is that the right word? Is that specific? What's the competition? And this does exactly for you. So let's use that word again, greeting card, and hit search. And what it will do is it will give you the, the word that you've put in plus another nine related keywords that it's found from its database. 
and it will tell you how many listings there are, the competition rate, red, high, yellow, medium, green, low, average views per day, and the view rate, again, it's in the red, yellow, and green categories. So generally greeting cards, there's more than 50,000 listings, I'd probably say there's probably 500,000, but it says there's more than 50,000. High competition rates of red, 4.45 views per day, and the view rate is good, it's low. Um, so there's a, sorry, not good, it's a low view rate. However, if we then change that to say birthday greeting card, let's spell it right, and hit search, that should then change the data. So what's happened here is I've still got over 50,000 listings, the competition rate's the same, but the average views per day has gone up from, I think it was five, to 14, so nearly triple, and the view rate's gone up. So we, oddly, because by convention you would think the smaller the keyword, the more broad it is, the more views you would get. Not necessarily so. People on the internet doing any sort of e-commerce purchase are becoming particularly more specific about what they're searching for. You wouldn't go to uh, a grocery store and say, I'm looking for food. You'd go, I'm looking for vegetables. You'd probably go in and say, I'm looking for a type of vegetable. And that's how consumers work on the internet. You've really got to hone down, look at your sales funnel and say, card, greeting card, birthday card, 10th birthday card. So let's put sun birthday card, which brings it down even more. And you've got to have that balance between competition and views. So sun birthday card has now only, still a lot, 8,269 listings. So the competition rate has dropped significantly and it's now in the yellow or amber category, but it's still getting five views per day on average. So the views are the same as birthday card, but it's ridiculously less competitive. So if you put in the word birthday card, 50,000 50, competition, five views a day, sun birthday greeting card, 8,269. Competition's, you know, gone down by a tenth, but your views per day is still the same for just tailoring that keyword. But it's also great this product because it offers you some other details behind that. So let's go to keyword compare and see what that does. That's giving you almost the same data, but it's allowing you to compare one to another. So let's try like we've just done, birthday card, uh, 10th birthday, um, all to predict, so birthday card. Um, sun birthday card, I'm trying to work on a, on, a, on a young boy's greeting card, so child's birthday card, let's try it, probably not a good example that, but let's have a look. So unlike under the free plan where you still get that data, it offers you suggestions, here you can be specific and you can match them against each other. This is really good, so for me, I have one tab open, which is sell away, then I have the other tab, which is my Etsy listing, and I use them in conjunction, and I'm flipping between the two. So if I was working on a son or a, a young male child's birthday card, I'd have that listing open and this, and I'd look and I'd say, right, going for the data, very similar to the keywords, but I'm now comparing it like for like, row by row. So here what I can see is I would probably look at um, 10th birthday card, because 1,841, is the amount of listings. So there's a low competition rate, but it's still getting six views per day. That's the happy medium. That's about getting the funnel right in place. So the keyword compare is a great, great tool. You've also got compare shop. So let's take some, some shops that I know. So these are some of, I've done a video about this, some of the top performing, Nicola de Brunin, Nicole de Brunin, some of the top five stores in the UK at the moment. And I'm going to do a separate video on this because what's sometimes nice is to understand how much you can make on Etsy. Um, and I know it's the, the very much the top end, the top five, but I think it's good to know what the possibilities are. So you put in your four, well, up to five uh, shops there, shop names, and it tells you when they were, the age, when they're incepted, when they started business. So you've got Nicola de Brunin 10 years ago, Happy Cute Studio four years ago, Hooray Days three, Dennis off four. The number of listings, Nicola de Brunin's got over 13,000. That's, that's a hell of a lot of uh, listings. 
But look at our sales, over half a million. Sales per day, 155 sales a day and 100% feedback score. Really, really, really good data as an overview. How does that help you SEO wise? It doesn't, but you should always look at your competition. What's going on in your marketplace? It won't help you in your individual listings, but it will get you to understand your marketplace and your specific niche or niche if you're in America. If you are on um, the plus listing, you can save your listings. So rather than have to go back in and remember those names, you can save them. So let's just do a couple there. I already had Dream Up Graphic from before, Ray Days, and we'll use Dandy Sloth. Oh, it's got that wrong. Dandy Sloth track. So this now essentially shows you the same data, but you have then got uh, the amount of sales per day. So it gives you, if there's any trends going on, up spikes or downward trends, but it allows you to store that. So if I go into compare shops and come back to track shops, the data's already stored there. So I have to keep remembering that. So if you've got four or five competitors, which I would absolutely suggest you go out and you find your key competitors, you can save one here. So you've got a reference point for next time. Shop analysis. So this is really, really good because it gives you an idea of average selling prices. So let's again pick a dandy sloth. I've not picked that for any particular reason other than I just remember it quite easily. Under the free listing, you get similar data to the compare shops, but you also get in the average price, which is interesting because you can then understand what they're making or getting in terms of turnover, amount of likes and amount of feedback. What's really good about that is the, the, on the track shops or the compare shops, you get the feedback percentage. But there's no reference point. You could have 100% feedback and two lots of feedback. It doesn't give you any correlation between the two. But all this tells me is there's 8,859 8, lots of feedback and 100%. So every customer is happy with their purchase and there's over 8,000. So that's really good. And as well, in terms of reference point, average sale is $6.49, and they've done 92,811. Let's round it up, it's 100,000 there amounts. They've done $600,000 in sales, there or thereabouts. Obviously excluding making costs, fees, etc., etc. But it gives you an idea of where that store is. I believe it's the fifth or sixth highest grossing store, Etsy store in the UK. So this is an exception to the rule, as in, we're not all gonna get there at the same point. Don't be defeatist, but we're not gonna get there from day one. That's the, the shop analysis. What we can also do, again, under the plus, only $11.99, you get similar data. So it's giving you the age, amount of listings, the average selling price, amount of feedback, the feedback score, but it's then showing you some recent listings, which I did show you before, but it's giving you more detail. So this allows you to track your competitors. So not only are you looking at the high level detail, how are they doing? How many sales have they got last month? Has their feedback score dropped? All good and interesting data, but you can look down to the minutiae, the actual detail of what they're doing in terms of listings. So this is their most listi re recent listing, funny traitor mug, and it shows you if it's digital, the selling price, the likes, the most recent listing, it's really got 94 likes. So that's pretty impressive. And the tags. So if you're gonna use that in terms of research, really important and focus on those tags because they're a key point that a lot of stores just underestimate. I won't go through everything on this store because it would take me absolutely days, but you've got some design ideas, color charts. Category Finder is a great one. Uh, so if we just do quickly greeting card, if you're unsure, if you've got a range of products and you're launching something that's out of that sort of niche, uh, so if you're doing weekly planners, but you want to start looking at greeting cards, what category does that go in? You can do some category suggestions just by the, uh, the keyword. So the word greeting card, you can put it in uh, paper and party supplies, paper, paper, greeting cards and blank cards. So it gives you a list of suggested categories. You've also got another one, which I've done a video on, so check that out, but the events calendar, really key. So everyone knows sort of the key events, the Valentine's, the Mother's Days, the Father's Days, um, the Hanukkahs, the Christmas, all that sort of stuff. But then there are some ones that a lot of us can tend to forget. Super Bowl, St. Patrick's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, all good events and seasons, wedding seasons, to then gear up to. So look at that diary, make your own mental note, print it off, pin it up on the wall to make sure that you are looking out for those key events. Make sure you're tailoring your shop 
and this data and that events checklist almost helps you do that. The other thing it has got is a calculator, which I've also got on my own site, grantjoiner.co.uk, where you can download an Excel file, but you can also do it online. So if I've got my average selling price of $3.95, it will tell you my profit is $2.71. So it's working out the, uh, well, it hasn't worked out, so I've put it in, but it can work out shipping costs, discounts, taxes, and the selling fees in terms of transaction and listing. It's almost like an all-in-one seller tool. I mean, sell away kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to be called, but for $11.99, you've got trends, keywords, analysis, research data, design ideas. Uh, it, 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 if it doesn't make you any additional sales by using it after a month, one, I'd be surprised, but two, there's a time saving on it. Think of how much time you're going onto your listing, you're thinking, Hmm, what category should I use? Oh, quick, within seconds. Oh, I wonder how my competition's doing. I'll have a quick look at their site. You look at a few listings. You go into each individual listing. You look at their sales. You do some calculations. In here, type in the shop name. Click, done. The data's in front of you. That's how simple it is. Sell Away for me is one of my top five tools that I use on a, well, I use it on a daily basis. If I've got Etsy open, you bet your bottom dollar, unless I'm processing orders, but if I'm looking at listings, I've got Sellaway open in another tab. If you want to sign up, use the link down below. If you do sign up, comments down below, let me know how you got on, any questions. I don't work for Sellaway, I'm not affiliated to them in any way, but if you've got any questions, I might be able to help you because I'm using the product as well, so do comment down below. And I'll see you for my next video. Thank you very much for watching.